Hi everyone, I'm John and welcome to this week's online family content. We're going to have a great time today and whether you've already joined us in Kid Zone or you're planning to join us in Kid Zone on Sunday or you weren't able to join us in Kid Zone at all, I want you to take this time to learn more about God. But before we do that, I want to ask you a question. And my question to you is, which flavor of pudding is your favorite flavor? Can you think about it? Maybe think about what color it is, what flavor you like to taste. Maybe is it chocolate? Maybe it's banana? Maybe it's vanilla? What flavor of pudding do you like the most? I'll tell you my favorite. My favorite pudding is chocolate pudding. I love all things chocolate. But the reason I ask that question is because this month we're going to be talking about leadership. And leadership is when someone has authority or influence over you or someone else and you follow them. So people who have leadership are known as leaders. And some leaders in your life might be your mom, your dad, your grandparents, your teachers, your coaches, or even me, your minister. You see, people who are leaders have other people who kind of follow what they say and follow what they do. But you see, sometimes we don't always like to follow our leaders. Just like how you have your favorite pudding, you most likely have your favorite leaders. Maybe they're your favorite because they're more fun. Maybe they're your favorite because you like listening to them more. Maybe they're your favorite because you just think they're cooler. But I want to take time today and have you learn about why it's important we follow leaders and make sure that the ones we are following are good and they care about us and they're trying to lead us closer to God. And that's really what's important because Jesus is the best example of a leader that we should follow. But you can learn from and follow other people too. Before you do though, think about the example those people are setting for you. Think about the people that are being your leaders and the things that they're telling you to do good and do they make God happy? Do they please him? And think about it and also pray about it. If it's godly, follow it. And you know, that's really important. It reminds me of our Bible point that we're going to be learning today. You see, our Bible point today says this, think, pray, and then follow. All right? Can you say that with me real fast? Okay. On the count of three, one, two, three, think, pray, and then follow. I would hope that I am setting a good example for you as a leader. Obviously, I'm not perfect. I still do things that I probably shouldn't do and I still make mistakes. But I strive to follow Jesus in all that I do. And when you have a leader who follows Jesus and wants to help you follow Jesus too, that's a leader worth following. Maybe it's me, maybe it's your parents, maybe it's your grandparents, maybe it's a coach or a teacher, whoever it is. If it's a leader who wants to bring you closer to Jesus, that's very, very important. So before we learn more about that, let's take some time to worship God by singing about how Jesus is alive right now. He is our leader and we can still follow him today because he lives in us. Let's sing to God. Everybody talking, yeah
beat him. Nothing could hold him down. I've got conquered the grave. So come on now, make it loud. Everybody shout it out. Jesus is alive right now. Sing it out, sing it out, sing it out. Jesus is alive right now. Whoa. Sing it out, sing it out, sing it out. Jesus is alive. singing is a great way to worship God and it reminds ourselves of how much he loves us and takes care of us. It reminds us that God can be our number one leader and he should be. But right now we're going to watch a Bible story. It's a video about a guy named Rehoboam and Rehoboam was a king who needed to follow wise leaders. Even though he was already a big leader, he needed to follow wise leaders. So watch this. After King Solomon died, his son, Rehoboam, became king. Yay! I'm the king now! The people sent a leader to the new king to speak up for them. So, how's everything going? Not so good. Listen, we've worked hard for your father. He made us pay lots of taxes and forced us to work building his palaces. Please give us some rest and we'll be willing to serve you. Hmm, I'll tell you what. Give me three days to think it over, then come back. King Rehoboam decided to talk it over with the same men who gave his father, King Solomon, wise advice. So what should I do? How do you think I should answer the people? If you will be a servant to the people, have compassion, and work things out with them, they'll end up doing anything for you. Yes, Your Majesty. That would be the wise thing to do. Hey! I'm not sure you guys are right. After all, you guys are old. What do you guys think? Should I lighten up on the people? Now tell me what you really think. After all, we have grown up together. Uh, forget about what those old geezers told you. Yeah, the people are just being a bunch of whiners. Hey, I know what you should tell them. Tell them my little finger is thicker than my father's waist. If you think my dad worked you hard, you haven't seen the half of it. Yeah, and then you should say, my dad hit you with whips, but I'll beat you up with chains. That'll show him who's king. You guys are right. Those old guys don't even know what they're talking about. Three days later, Jeroboam and the people showed up to hear what King Rehoboam had to say. Hey, if you think my dad worked you hard, you haven't seen half of it. My dad hit you with whips, but I'll beat you up with chains. What do you think about that? Get lost, King Rehoboam. We've had it with you. Go ahead. Go. Who do I care? Because King Rehoboam didn't listen to the wise advice of his leaders, the kingdom of Israel was split in half. 
instead of ruling over all of Israel, as his father Solomon did, King Rehoboam only ruled over the towns of Judah. The rest of the tribes went with Jeroboam, and he ruled over them. Rehoboam should have listened to his wise leaders and not his friends. Don't get me wrong. Friends are great, and they care for us. But God wants us to follow our wise leaders because they know what to do. So next time you have a hard decision to make, go to God first and see if he shows you a wise leader that you can follow. So now my question is, do you want to become a follower of Jesus and make him your number one leader? Well, sometimes it's complicated, but we've made it simple. So you just need to do the A, B, C, Ds of following Jesus. Here's how. A is for admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for making wrong choices by praying to him. Now B, B is for believe. Believe that God sent Jesus to get rid of your sins so you can be close to God. We must believe in Jesus for him to be able to forgive us. And C, C is for choose. Choose to live for God every day. You can choose to listen to God before anyone or anything else and make him your number one leader. And D, D is for decide. Decide to be baptized so you can show God and everyone else you want to follow Jesus and make God the leader of your life. Not just a leader, but the leader. Number one leader of your life. If you want to decide to do that today, talk to your parents or a trusted adult. Following Jesus is the most important decision you'll ever make in your life. Will you pray with me? Dear God, please help us to think and pray before we follow someone else's example. Thank you for giving us wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen. The last thing I want us to do today is to learn a verse from the Bible. The verse I want you to know is from Matthew chapter 15, verse 14. It's actually something Jesus says. It says this, If a blind person leads another who is blind, both of them will fall into a pit. Say that with me real fast. One, two, three. If a blind person leads another who is blind, both of them will fall into a pit. See, there will be leaders in your life that are not wise. We should still respect those leaders, but we want to follow leaders who love and act like Jesus. And that's a wrap for today's video. Remember our Bible point. Think, pray, then follow. We are at our best when we follow leaders from God who he wants us to follow. Thanks for joining me today, guys. There's going to be a couple questions on the screen after me. Talk about those with your parents or a trusted adult. Have a great week.